I'm here with Representative Byron Donald, and I wanted to ask you about some news that recently broke out of the Biden administration in that they have their sights set on ending, uh, potentially ending the Title 42 policy that has allowed them to turn some migrants back uh, when they're crossing the border illegally. What do you think of that move? If they eliminate Title 42, maintain and they maintain their current enforcement protocols the southern border whatever we thought was overrun overrun we haven't seen anything yet border patrol agents people who worked at that sections the sections down there they will tell you that the only reason there's even some semblance of order is because they've been able to turn away adults um, but if you get rid of title 42 which all it is is turning away adults at the border uh, for health and safety reasons due to COVID-19 if they get rid of that We'll be way over one. There'll be no possible way we'll be able to actually contain uh, the illegal immigration that is flowing over the country um, in major ways right now. It'll be exacerbated, you know, in multiple factors of what we're seeing today. It'll be a disaster for the country. Switching to a different topic, the uh, the For the People Act just died in the Senate yesterday, Good. and that was a big push for Democrats to federalize elections, essentially, along with a lot of other components to it. Um, we saw at the last minute a lot of Democrats kind of flip-flopping or compromising on certain issues that they had taken before, such as voter ID. You had Senator Raphael Warnock from Georgia uh, totally flip-flopping on that and getting fact-checked for it. Why do you think they were doing that? Oh, they had to flip-flop because the American people told them that what they were saying was dumb and stupid. There isn't a person in the United States, yeah, virtually, that grows up in the inner city that doesn't have an ID. How do I know that? Because I had one when I was 13 years old. And so to go out there and say that requiring people to actually demonstrate ID so they can prove who they are is somehow disenfranchising or is racist policy was idiotic. It was bad politics. And finally, the polling caught up with them. And that's why they had to do it a complete about face on voter ID because black voters, white voters, Hispanic voters, all through polling said, are you like, are you crazy? Of course we got IDs. This is not even a problem. How is this even a political question? The sad part is if you look at election politics, frankly, over the last several years, their objection to stronger voter ID standards has been like their main talking point when it comes to election laws and elections overall. Overall, And at the time where they basically have full power of this place, they couldn't get it through because people, no matter where you are in the United States, support voter ID is a major slap in the face. And it should be a reality check for them that their bad policies can't just be put into place just because they say so. Because people know better. They know better in their individual lives. I'm glad HR1 is dead because that was one of the worst pieces of legislation I've ever seen. And having been at the state level and also here, I've seen some bad legislation. So speaking of elections, there is one going on right now in New York, or it should have been over, but uh, it's we won't get results for right. a while, it sounds like. Right. Do you have any thoughts on, um, you know, the Democrat-run state of New York and their, or the Democrat-run city of New York City and how they are running their election right now for mayor? I would say that in this, my former city of New York, they sure know how to disenfranchise voters because what I'm hearing is that there were massive lines all over the city. It's going to take them weeks to get through their results. They haven't even started counting absentee ballots. People don't even know who their next the next general election campaign is going to be well we know curtis lee was in because he won by such a big margin but on the democrat side of the aisle they don't know who it's going to be and if you try to tell me that you have the panacea to cure elections but you can't even get a, the the results in on election night then don't even apply for the job we're not listening to you What's happening in New York is the chaos that, frankly, Democrats on Capitol Hill wanted to unleash in our elections. I'm glad they failed up here in D.C., but the people in New York, you got to get better election process. This is insane. Even on Morning Joe this morning, they were giggling and laughing about it. The only thing I would tell the people at Morning Joe is that if a Republican, uh, if a Republican governor or a Republican city council put in election laws like that, they wouldn't be giggling. They would be raking us over the coals, over the, the travesty that is occurring in New York City elections.